How's it going everyone? My name is Roger. And I'm Mayra. Welcome to Iron Travels. So in this video we're going to give you a tour of our new van that we just finished converting today. But before we do that, Roger and I would like to tell you that we want to raffle a van just like this one. We never done a raffle, but we thought this could be a great opportunity for someone to get it for cheap. We're thinking about selling tickets for $150 but we do need at least 150 people to participate. If we don't have that, then we're not gonna be able to do it, unfortunately. At the moment, we have a list going on. We have 20 people on the list. Uh, if you are interested and you know some, or if you live in the United States and uh, you know somebody that lives in the United States and you're interested, we're gonna leave our contact information on the comment below. Let us know. All right, so now let's get started. Let's go. All right, so let's get started. So this is a Ford Econoline. Uh, I think it's a 2006 and um, as you can see it has windows all over the place. We have a solar power up top and uh, it's 150 watt solar power and we also have the vent air that's a attached to the roof. Um, so yeah, so let me show you the front. We didn't change too many things but we did added some covers on the seats. We also uh, put a Igloo IMX cooler, IMX 24. Um, it's supposed to hold ice for about four to five days a little similar to the Yeti cooler All right, now let's continue. So these are the, the door panels um, We put insulation in the back of all of them and uh, we did it a little bit different than the, the last vans and As well as the floor it has insulation under it, it has insulation on the roof insulation all around and uh, We put this vinyl floor in uh, we thought it was a really cool look the way it it looks all right, now let's go for the sink. Um, so this is a pump sink. We basically got a little bit of water in there and that's how it works. And then, oh, by the way, we got a buddy Jima's here. You've probably seen him from our other videos. You should know him by now. <laughs> so the door comes completely off so you can replace the gallons. Um, there's one for, for clean water, one for dirty water. So the water comes out of the pump from here and goes into the gallon from here. And, um, that's how that works all right so this area is where we keep the stove and the stove is held by bungees as well just like the gallons um, because everything moves around when you're moving in this van and also here's some storage area um, we also have the propane um, propane tank this is a gallon and uh, you know you attach it to the stove you can usually cook it here we usually, what we used to do is put it here on our last fan. Um, the fan is gonna come with this one. It's an electric power fan, a battery powered I meant. So, so we made a little seat area right here so you could you know, sit across from each other. Um, if you have more than one person in the van, uh, they sit on the sofa couch, you sit on the toilet basically. Cause we have a, a toilet here, porta potty underneath. As you can see, it opens like that. And then this is the porta potty area, brand new, uh, never used. And this area right here is to keep, I don't know, a book. Some people like to read while they sit in, or, <laughs> or a toilet paper, or whatever, things like that. And this also opens up, um, you know, there's a latch on this side, you lift the pin, and then you take the latch out, and this door comes out completely. So you could, you know, take the toilet um, out and dump it in a, like another toilet all right so now let me show you this area right here this is where we have um, the Yeti Gold Zero there was another van that we did right before this one and we had the, the, the power bank right here but I figured I don't know there's got to be a way to hide this to make it look better so I put it in here and it's kind of like a little storage area as well you charge your goodies in there and that's the zero on the side of it on the next area is also like a storage area put laptops or whatever you want to add in so the reason why I did this too for somebody you know if you're building a 40 econ line like this if it's a passenger van sometimes it has AC so the AC area is right here so I basically to kind of bypass it and also make use of the space I made the, the two areas there all right, so now let me show you guys the roof system. We basically have uh, the vent air, which is here, which sucks out all the hot air from the inside and blows it out. So you add that with the fan and you know, it's, it's pretty refreshing in here. 
Um, as far as the lights, they are uh, LED rechargeable lights. You charge them with like USB cords and stuff like that. We have a remote for it. And you just press it and then you could turn them all on like that. They have, um, you know, you can make them brighter or you can make them darker. But I know right now it's too bright out here where you can't really see them. But they're strong at night with the white with the white ceiling it kind of reflects from it that's a, another thing that we like doing is throwing the ceiling white because you know it makes everything you know when you turn the lights on it's brighter in here okay so as far as the corners um we were trying to brainstorm to figure out how to make it look nice and still you know have a clean corners we've done burlap bags we've done the fat uh the, the the plastic that comes with the van on the passenger vans but this time we decided to do it all wood and I think it was a really cool thing to do. Um, there's this one tool that helps you um, get the corner cuts and angles and stuff like that. So if it's something that you're um, planning on doing, um, leave us a message there and I'll, I'll tell you which one it is. Um, but yeah, so we did it all wood, the curtains too. Basically, um, we did it like we usually do with a little um, steel cord and you know, you open it and then you get some privacy there and then all the windows. So this is the bed, it's actually a sofa bed and uh, Myra prefers these sofa beds over the other, I don't know if you've seen the other van video, we have a, a full size bed and it, it doesn't, it's not a sofa bed, it's just a, a bed, so it's already made. I like that better because it's already made, you can just lay on it, it's done, but Myra likes this style so you can sit, you can have a walkway through as well and, um, and yeah, so this one is a, it's a bed for now. I mean, it's the couch for now, but then once we pull it open, there's a part that slides and it turns into a bed, uh, almost a full-size bed. So we'll show you that now. All right, you guys, so this is how the bed looks. Uh, there's locks on both sides. So you unlock it and pull the pin out and then you, you pull it out like that. And it slides through, slides through all the way up to the, to the uh, toilet. And then you have a bed really comfy too it's a eight eight uh eight inch foam memory foam and there you have it that's how it looks all right so thanks for watching our video hopefully you like it don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also give us some thumbs up and that's it um if you have any questions about your build if you're building a van leave it in the comment we'll try we'll try to answer all of them we we'll read all of them and if you haven't seen our other van videos, we're going to post it up here somewhere. And um, I guess we'll see you next time. And let us know which one is your favorite. See you next time. Bye.